Hello, hello, this is Leela from Miss Leela Pink Journey. Thank you for tuning in and watching as I thread the Burnett B64 Airlock Overlock or Serger machine. Um, I started off by cutting the threads that I already had and threaded in the machine. So I'm going to start from scratch and show you how I do it. It's really an easy machine to thread. Um, let me read from you from the Book of Sergers, the big Book of Sergers. And it just says the air threading for the B64. This fully featured overlock machine is equipped with an air threading system to make threading the loopers automatic. The loopers may be threaded individually or together, and they may be threaded in any order. I'll start off by opening the cover here, the looper cover. And I'll activate the looper converter by pressing this button down here. I'm gonna press it to the left but you can also pay attention to this little apparatus will move. I'm going to press it to the left and then I will take the hand wheel and turn it towards me. And then that caused this to lock in place. Okay, I'm gonna start off by using the second from the right thread, which is the lower looper thread. So. Using the lower looper thread, I'm going to first take the thread under this first guide and I'll bring it through the tension knob and under. And then I'll show you how that goes. Let's make sure I have enough thread here so that once I add the thread to this air threader port, it I will press this air thread button and it will shoot out the machine and it will come out on this side so that's what you're going to see it's really easy to thread so once I just push enough in there that may be too much but that's what I do so I'm going to push it in there then I'll hit this air threader button over here in the corner and then the thread came out over here that's how easy it is to thread so I will grab my upper looper thread if I can reach it without knocking over the camera Let it reach down under that little gadget. And then I will do the same thing, make sure I have enough thread to go through the next port. So I'll push it down the same way. And then I'll make sure it's not gonna get caught on anything here. Press the button and then the thread came out over here and I'll just make sure I get it under where it should go. Pretty simple. I'm going to actually take the first one and bring it back and under also. And also remove the foot. They're, they're easy to come off. Next, I'll concentrate on threading the left needle and the right needle. I'll start off with the right needle. I'm pulling the thread under what they call the retractable thread guide. And then I'll continue down through the tension area and through the color coded path. So right down through the tension area and then I'll bring it over and around. And then you see that we have the green and yellow since I'm dealing with the green disc, which is the second from the right, I am going to bring the thread up through the second hole without knocking the camera over, hopefully. <laughs> it's much easier when you're not trying to knock something over in front of you. And then I'll bring it up through this guide and around and this is also color coded there so I will thread the right needle this is just as simple as it is on threading your sewing machine now oh, I got room to play Then I'll pull it to the back 
and out of my way. Just caught onto something down here. Because I had too much thread. I'll pull it to the back and then I'll just drag it right under there so it's out of my way. And then I'll grab the last thread, pull it under, do the tension guide up and around to its right color. Across there and through here. And behind, the book should be behind this. There it goes. Bring her through and under. So now we have all the three is threaded over here. You can see them. I'll close this guide and I will open this up wider. I will add the thread catcher back. Now that all the threads have been threaded, I'm going to add the thread catcher drawer back onto the machine and I will grab the threads so I have the tensions all set on four at the top here this is the back it looks fine and this is the front all right let's see what happens So that's really nice. And what I did is I just changed the actual tension knob for the upper looper to eight. And I like that stitch. It's very nice. And the back came out perfect too. That's good. Let's just try one more. Let's put these two together with that smaller stitch. Very good stitch. So that's the fourth threader. I'm going to put the other one down lower. So this time I actually have the tension for the upper and lower looper on eight. And this is the stitch that came out. And this is the back. Them both on nine. So this is the front. And this is the back. This is both the tension for the lower and upper looper on nine. Thanks so much for watching. Please take a moment to like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos. Take care.